show you how to make a lanyard with a simple box knot. All you need is two plastic laces and a keyring. Place your keyring in the center holder and your laces through the center. You can wrap it around once to make it a little bit easier. Pull the laces through until they're about halfway through. You can pull it a little bit tighter, and if it pops out, that's okay. Just place it back in the holder. Place your blue lace underneath the number one, and your other blue one underneath the number five. Place your yellow lace underneath the number seven, and your other one underneath the three. To begin, take your number one, move it across, and place it under the number six. Take your number five across to the number two. Take your number seven, move over the number six and under the number five. Make sure your laces are straight and then place it under the number four. Take your number three, go over the number two and under the number one and place it under the eight holder. Now release your loops on the number one, the number three, the number five, and the number seven. Pull the yellow strings tighter and then you can pull the blue strings tighter. Now you've just made your first box knot. To continue, Take the number two and fold it over to the number five. Take the number six, fold it over to the number one. Take the number eight, fold it over to the number three. Remembering to go under the number two. Take the number four, go over the number five and under the number six. Make sure it's straight before placing it under the number seven. Now release your loops on the two, the four, the six, and the eight. Pull your yellow strings tighter, and then pull your blue strings tighter. And you can keep pulling on both sides, nice and tight, and you'll see your next box knot form on top. Keep repeating the same pattern and you'll watch your bracelet grow even longer. As you progress, you can lift up your circle to see how long your lanyard is. And when it's long enough, simply take it off the holders and pull it through the center. I like the end of mine by tying a knot Make sure you pull it tight and then adding a couple of matching beads on the end. Just lace them right through. I'm going to use blue and yellow. You can then tie another knot at the end of your beads just to make sure they stay on. Pull it nice and tight and then if you want you can even cut the ends a little bit shorter and now you're ready